course the media is calling Afghanistan a failure. A failure to what? A failure of what? Here's the thing to think about and recognize. It wasn't a failure for American business interests. It wasn't a failure for the military contractors. It wasn't a failure for George Bush or Barack Obama. They both served two terms as president instead of being charged with war crimes. So for many interests and people, Afghanistan was a rousing success. Who lost? We lost. American troops died, not for democracy, but for our true system, neoliberal imperialist capitalism. Remember, when we invade a country, yes, the military invades, but they are paving the way for the true invasion. American business interests harvesting their crops, drilling their oil, mining their resources. This is what euphemistically is called nation building. So who lost? Sure, we did. We wasted our tax dollars to sponsor this... uh, uh. Of course the media is calling Afghanistan a failure. A failure to what? A failure of what? Here's the thing to think about and recognize. It wasn't a failure for American business interests. It wasn't a failure for the military contractors. It wasn't a failure for George Bush or Barack Obama. They both served two terms as president instead of being charged with war crimes. So for many interests and people, Afghanistan was a rousing success. Who lost? We lost. American troops died, not for democracy, but for our true system, neoliberal imperialist capitalism. Remember, when we invade a country, yes, the military invades, but they are paving the way for the true invasion. American business interests harvesting the crops, drilling the oil, mining the resources. This is what is euphemistically called nation building. So who lost? Sure, we did. We wasted our tax dollars to sponsor this amoral, immoral profiteering. And we lost friends and family and some of our humanity. And blood lost, blood spilled, because blood has no value to these greedy profiteers. It's an endless resource to be squandered, to run in the streets. American blood, Afghani blood, male blood, female blood, and the blood of children. Worthless to the government, worthless to the military contractors, worthless to the American business interests, all of whom believe there is always an endless supply of blood. Who are these companies? They are companies whose names you recognize. Lockheed, Honeywell, Raytheon, and dozens of companies you've never heard of. They hide in the shadows profiting from death. And this was a private war fought by the corporation called the Military Industrial Complex, Inc. And the workers, minimum wage, expendable, they're called soldiers, but they are just employees. So stop and ask yourself, what are we doing in wars in Iraq and Somalia and Libya and Syria and elsewhere? We are making money the old fashioned way by destroying countries and lives. That's our product the product of war.